Hi, this is Michelle Mills, and this is my Test 7 homework. Ray, you were asking us what we appreciated or enjoyed most about Session 7. And what I really appreciated was the stories that you shared. And I realized, even though you didn't say it in these words, I realized that stories create context. When you're speaking to a person one-on-one, -on -one, it's easier to create context because you can, depending on how well you know the person, you might know whether they are an audio, a visual, or a kind of aesthetic kind of listener. But if you're speaking to or presenting to a group, or if you're doing a webinar, of course you're speaking to a group, you're going to have a mix of those type of listeners in your group. So sharing all those stories actually helps to build that rapport and create that context and that connection with your audience. At the end of your uh, training though, you did say, there's those people in this group. And you said, Ray, you promised us some tips. As where's the, the, where are the tips? Yeah, I'm one of those people. I'm a map kind of person. I know that I'm in point A. You said we can get to point B. Here's the map. Are we there yet? Right? And the challenge for me is that when I'm going to do webinars, that would be my default setting. And if I have to realize that the people I'm speaking to might not be map people, that I then need to share more of my stories in order to create the rapport so that we can get that connection and grow the business. So yeah, maps are short and sweet. Stories are the scenic route. But hey, if that's what builds the business, then let's, let's do that. So I'm going to recap. Your tips were number one, to introduce yourself, number two, to state the purpose of the video, number three, identify the problem, number four, identify the solution, and end with a strong call to action. So here's my strong call to action. Please would you vote for me, because I would really appreciate getting this prize in test. Thank you so much. Bye.